Hey guys, and welcome back to Medieval. I had to think there for a minute. Christ. When we last left off, we had been through the Scarecrow Fields. We had activated our uh, <laughs> machine, our harvesting corn machine. Uh, we got an extra life bottle. We got another chalice, and uh, pretty much solid progress was had. However, the video did overrun, so I decided to keep videos from now on to one level uh, only, with some possible exceptions, this video being one of them. So now we're going to move on to Pumpkin Gorge. I actually forgot about this mission, and this mission's actually loads of fun. Let's get into it. If you thought we were going to be facing off against a load of pumpkins, you'd be right. Pumpkin Gorge. So this is where all those tasty pumpkins come from. They might find you tasty too. Yes. Sentient pumpkins. Oh my. Although I don't think they're going to find Dan very tasty. I mean Dan's just, well, all bone really. <laughs> right. Uh, let's, before we do anything, we had some information in our book, didn't we? Yes. This formidable servant was somehow lured into a tiny chest and trapped by men working for King mm. Peregrine. Probably it must have been a magic chest because really, this is one huge servant to fit in such a small box. But anyhow, the king believed he had imprisoned the evil servant of Galamir, when in fact it was kindly servant Lord Cole Katura that he had inboxed. Mm. Katura is probably going to have a big hug for whoever sets him free. And an ever tighter one for their enemy. Yes, quite the useful chap. Uh, I think we might find his evil brother a little bit later on. Anyway, we had the mad farmers. Nothing comes easy for these poor farmers. As Galamir's population declines, so does the demand for their crops. <laughs> it's no wonder they hide in haystacks. Show them some sympathy and let them stab you a couple of times, <gasps> eh? Uh, I don't think so. Mrs. Narrator and Mecha Imps. Industrious thieving imps built these powerful machines to steal crops from the farmers. <laughs> Personally, I think they do better mass producing these things and selling them to the farmers, but hey, thieves got a thing. Yeah, I'm with the narrator on that. Damn. Corn killers. Yeah, they will uh, kill you if you get too far into the corn. These dreaded corn stalkers are utterly silent, totally invisible, and 100% deadly. Uh -huh. They're also just about the cheapest solution a time strapped video game developer could ever conceive to stop the player going where they're not wanted. <laughs> Rejoice. <laughs> I like that. They're vampire bats. Actually, they're just bats, but they bite. That sort of vampire. Yeah, kind of vampire, I suppose. I'll let you have this one. Mrs. Narrator. Anyway, so, Sir Dan, we do have the new uh, enchanted sword. Uh, I guess we'll use it, I suppose. No reason not using it. Come on then, savage pumpkins. I'm pretty sure Dan will have the best of thee. Ooh, hello, we have a rune right off the bat. Excuse me. Out of the way. Oh, God, look at these monstrous... Vegetables that we're fighting. Yeah, we have another club, which, uh, yeah, cool, I guess. And we also have some more tentacles. We could actually go back through here, I suppose. But, yeah, there's nothing actually back there. It just leads back up to where we came. This bit's kind of strange. It's like this weird, screwy underground uh, cave that doesn't really make a lot of sense but hey we're gonna roll with it for now i suppose we will keep our hammer out because you know smashing pumpkins and all that there is our chalice of wonder we shall be back for you before we leave that's for sure um all right let's get out of here onwards dan forwards ever forwards well this is certainly one of the more interesting levels I'm going to leave it at that. I do... Oh, God. You don't want that stuff all over your face. Damn, right. Let's go smash some pump pumpkins. There we go. Lovely. Now, I don't think these little pumpkins, these pumpkin bombs, 
actually have souls. But apparently these big carnivorous bastards do. Alright, not bad. And we are going to have to go back through this area. I think. Just to make sure we haven't missed any. Because we need those souls. Even if they are the souls of vegetables. You can see they're not worth a lot. I'm sure there's some social commentary there somewhere. Now, our sword is no longer enchanted, but I think it is still more powerful. I'm not 100% sure. I think enchanting it doubles its power. We do get a rather meaty sword a little bit later on that is always enchanted. And uh, kind of makes this one a little bit obsolete, really. Ooh! Evil pumpkins! Come on, Dan. Keep swinging till there's nothing left but mush. Oh, God. That was a bit of an adventure, wasn't it? All right, let's have a little look in here. Ooh! Very nice. Gold, health, and pumpkins. Lovely. I love the art style to this game. God, I want more medieval. Can we have more medieval? Is that, like, too much to ask or something? Sony's kind of, like, failing pretty hard, in my opinion, with the PS5. So, ooh, hello. It would be nice to get something. You know, they kicked ass with the PS4, but they seem to be falling pretty hard on the PlayStation 5. It really doesn't, in my opinion, look as interesting as the new Xbox. Especially with the new Xbox's backwards compatibility that's been tested now. And, uh, <laughs> it's immense. Yeah, well, we shall see. Anyway, let's keep going. We're going to grab up some runes and some more health because that does seem to be the thing to do around here. Now, we have the Chaos Rune. Let's keep going. Come on, Dan. More pumpkins to slay. Excellent. I'll make a mess out of these things. Lovely. You know, we're only at 40% of the chalice. That's not brilliant, although we do have a nice health fountain there, which was certainly going to take full advantage of. Hey, friend. Eh, God, depth perception. Well, let's keep going. Nice. Nothing left but bits. Ain't much to look at after you scrape them off your boot, huh? There we go. Efficiently done, Sir Daniel. Efficiently done. We'll make a hero out of you yet. Okay, I wonder if Woden could have uh, accomplished such a feat. There we go. Up and down these magical mushrooms go. They will take you higher and higher, but be careful not to fall and sink without a trick. Yeah, less sinky, more drinky. Although, before we get to the drinky, we're going to have to finish this quest. And then we shall be drinking the finest pumpkin ale Gallomir has to offer, I'm sure. Oh, God. Maybe some nice pumpkin mead, actually. All right. Let's go grab up some coinage and head down here. Ooh, more pumpkins. Who would have thunked it? There we go. Slice and dice, motherfucker. Found Earth Rune. Excellent. We just so happens to know where we need to put that. Uh, down this way, I believe. And we still need more souls. Uh, we could use a little bit of a health top up. Nah, be fine. We're okay. Aha, uh -huh, of course. The whole, the old explodey pumpkin rolling down the hill. Huh? That old chestnut. Well, nothing phases Dan anymore. Dan has seen everything at this point. And uh, I guess out of all the weirdness, sentient pumpkins kind of pretty low on the list, I guess. Ah, yeah, health. And another star rune. Nice. Whoa, dude. Calm down. He was more excited to die than Dan is. Yink. Right. There we go. Although, I guess Dan's only looking forward to his death. If he can redeem himself. Which I'm pretty sure he'll be able to do. Um, now. 
Right, we need to go back to... The mushrooms, yes. Did we get the rune? We did. Star rune. Excellent. I had to thunk for a minute there. Right. Okay. Oh, actually, we don't need to challenge the shrooms again. Because we unlock this little sneaky way here. Definitely a little bit safer than trying to sneak up to the... Uh, up the mushrooms, you know? Gives Dan a little bit of the old anxiety, if you know what I mean. Alright. A hero he may be. But he is a nervous hero. But a hero nonetheless. But he's in good hands. There we go. Oh, God. I hate these things. Oh, these tentacles. Alright, let's kill these weird pumpkins first. We will catch up on our light reading in a minute. There we go. 77% of the souls. Although, thinking about it, we've got a long way to go back before we can get our souls. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Right, come on. Let's get this pod sack. There we go. You're dead. Get out of here. Sir Dan has conquered. He came, he saw, he conquered. I kick ass for the Lord. The Lord of Galobia. Rest his bones. Alright. Really? Eh, <sighs> pesky boulders. Where do they get all these boulders from anyway? I mean, honestly. There we go. Alright. Ah, oh, bloody mushrooms again. Of course. What else would there be? Ah, rolly boys. Oh, let's kill the rolly boys. And the long boys. Whoa, 82%. 85%. I mean, not that I'm counting, but hey, we're doing pretty well here, Dan. Ooh, 94%. Yes, we've got it. There we go. The chalice can now be collected. Well, this is rather excellent news. Okay, now we've got to go all the bloody way back, haven't we? Ah. Oh, shit. That's fine. It's alright, Dan. It's a bad... Oh, I was going to say, it's a bad day to be wearing your armoured breeches, but here we are. Let's take the easy route down, shall we? Ah. Not everything we do has to be heroic. Just 80% of stuff. Right. Now, I've got to remember my way all the bloody way back now. Ooh, nice. Here's one we left earlier. Hopefully that'll top us up just a little bit. Yes. Uh, now, I don't think I can call this video something easy, like smashing pumpkins, because I think I've already used that. I'll have to come up with something clever. Ugh. Me coming up with clever titles. I know. I know. I actually hate coming up with titles for my videos. It sometimes takes me a very long time. Uh, when you've got nearly 3,000 videos up, it's uh, not always easy. Um, okay. Actually, what we will do whilst we're here... Let's enchant our sword. And I guess if we're going to enchant our sword, we shall go back to using this blunt one. The Hall of Heroes awaits! Of course it does, Dan. You're going to be master of the heroes once I'm done with you. Oh god, I wish they remastered the second game. Really does suck that they didn't. Never mind. Maybe we'll get it eventually. But then they announced this game like three years before it actually came out. Which I think is one of the reasons why people were so disappointed, shall we say, with the final result. Because they teased it. And they actually teased it a few times. Um, it was teased like a year before it came out. And then it like disappeared. And everyone was wondering if this remaster was even still going on. And then they kind of brought it back from almost vaporware state uh, status uh, and then they dropped it out 
Because I think it was announced in 2015. And it came out in 2019. So, yeah. But, you know, I was happy with the game. Would I have rather it be more polished? Sure, of course. But, hey, it is what it is. Would I have rather it be 60 or 50 pounds instead of 20 and have both games? Uh, yes. Have we just gone full circle? We have. We need to go up the mushroom. Mushroom. Let's go for a mushroom ride. Like those idiot brothers from a certain other console. And there we go. down before the master of the vegetable patch. The prize-winning plant who can summon an army of carriage with a wave of his noble tendril. He's delicious. He's nutritious. He's Zarok's secret recipe. He's the Pumpkin King. Hmm. The Pumpkin King. Um, an army of cabbage. Well, we haven't seen any cabbage yet. So, let's see what we've got here. Enemies. Pumpkin plants. Oh, I thought they'd have a slightly more interesting name than that, but hey. These once good-natured pumpkins fell victim to the Pumpkin King's toxic influence. They're still tasty, if you can convince them not to murder <laughs> you. But perhaps you should think about things from their perspective. Well, how would you feel if someone wanted to scoop out your brains and carve a big, goofy smile across your face? Well, yes, you know, I could appreciate the awkwardness of that situation, but that's kind of what they're bred for, you know? Fresh off the vine, these baby boomers are in too much of a hurry to grow <sighs> up. They can't wait to spread their pumpkin seed. Oof. Yes, well, they'll get their chance. Fresh off the vine... Should I say they've had their chance, and all they managed to do is slightly dull our blade. Yeah. Right, so the Hall of Heroes awaits. Now, the reason this is going to be a two-mission episode is because there is another mission just uh, up the road from what we've just done, and it's basically the boss. Reigning allies in the Hall of the Heroes is the way forward. Aye. Hack, choppity chop. Off with a few zombies' heads, and it thinks it can redeem itself in battle. You still have a long way to go to rank as the best. Yes, well, we will. And we've killed more than a few zombies, my gargoyle friend. Did you not just see all of the pumpkins that we squashed? Right, so, who is offering us this time? Oh, you again. Hmm. All right, Woden, what have you got? Fortescue, you must be the luckiest corpse ever to walk the face of the <laughs> earth. I have something here I can lend you. Go on. Take it or leave it. But remember, I'm only doing this for the sake of Galomir's doomed population, and not for you, you gangly buffoon. God, he's such a dick. Now I'll take your meager treasure. It is just a drop in the bucket for our fairly considerable coffers right that's six down I think 15 left something like that let's leave the Hall of Heroes yeah interestingly enough uh, we can now do the Pumpkin King who is the boss of Pumpkin Gorge but why he's a separate level I don't know but hey I didn't make this game damn it so, oh, the Pumpkin Serpent, as he's called here. Curious. All right. Onwards, young Dan. Let's go. The Pumpkin Serpent, the root of all pumpkin evil. Squash that squash and rid Galibir of the seedy menace once and for all. Aye, shall be done. All right, Dan, ready to do battle. Glorious battle. The King Pumpkin sleeps. If you want an audience with this regal plant, you should mash all of his pot sacks. Oh, we're going to mash him in the sacks. Don't you worry. Right. Let's wake up this damn squash. This pretender to the throne. 
damn, talk about slicing dice. You vicious boy, vicious. Oof, hello. Damn it, stop spitting in my face. Yeah, a cauldron, really. Greetings, kind sir. I am the pumpkin. Leech. Yes. I'm like a mother to those pumpkins. I give them all the love and care a young fruit could ever ask for. From the moment they first push a shoot above the soil, right up until their heads are cut off and eaten. Aww. And look, see how they repay me, running around and causing mischief. That nasty old big pumpkin has a bad influence on the young seedlings. If you teach him a lesson in manners, I might give you a nice present. Really? Well, this better not be a pumpkin. Fine, I shall go gut your pumpkin. But I expect some big gems or jewels or something. A man's got to eat. Well, maybe Dan doesn't have to eat. But a man needs to buy shiny, powerful weaponry. Yes. Yes, that will do. Alright, not bad, Dan. We have lost the health bottle, but that's to be expected. Yeah, look at all these fish here. Looks like this uh, Pumpkin King has been pretty rough on the environment around here. I guess he takes after his human masters a little bit too much. Still, let's keep mashing his sacks. How many sacks have we got left? We've got more sacks down here. Hey, big fella. The time of reckoning is here. You've allowed to go unpunished for too long. You should learn this day that you cannot do as you please and that your tasty seedlings are destined to be dinner. Uh oh. Oh man. Eh, uh, I suppose we could use the enchanted sword. I don't like using it because you gotta keep like replacing its uh its batteries for lack of better terminology. Right, okay. And as you can see, like, the energy on it does tick down pretty quick. But, <laughs> my god, is it powerful. So, you know, there's that. Arise, your highness. Arise. Oh, god. Camera. Damn it. He has artillery. Ow. That was my face. But that's okay. Now it's my turn with your face. Yes. What do you think of that, you ugly bastard? Hmm. He has uh, refilled his pod sack. Well, that's fine. Let's go destroy his sacks. Drain his sacks of their fluid. Well, I don't think so, pal. Right, he's got one sack left somewhere. There it is. There we go. How are you feeling there, big fella? You looking a little bit uh, wobbly? <laughs> Don't worry. We shall soon put you out of your misery. One way or another. Ooh, boom. That's going to hurt ya. That did hurt ya. Still want some more, huh? Well, that's okay. Dan has some more left in the tank. But you, sir, seem to be running on empty. Oh, come on, Dan. Let's go finish off this guy's sack. There we go. Yeah, I'll play with you boys later. Come on, Dan. Charge. There we go. He's regaining his strength. Ah, not that that matters, to be honest. Oh, there's a book that we haven't read as well. Uh, where's his last one? There it is. Well, he got a lot of his health left. That won't help him, though. Ooh, you're starting to putrefy more than usual. Hold on, Dan. One last push. Let's hit the explosive chest. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Eh, it didn't hurt as much as I was hoping, to be honest. It's okay, Dan. Have faith. Persevere. Hack until there's nothing left but mush. 
Ow. Ow. Good thing we got those extra life balls. There we go. Stop regrowing your tentacles, dude. There we go. Ah, sliced. There we go. Served him up a fresh slice of his own fried ass. Boom. Sleep tight, buttercup. And look at this place now. It looks all pretty like. I suppose you better go see the pumpkin witch. Yes. What a waste of delicious pumpkin. Think of all that pumpkin ale that could have been made. Oh god, pumpkin ale. Why? Yeah, well, we've drained the life essence as much as we can. Let's go see the pumpkin witch. Right, hello. I'm back for my reward. A most edifying spectacle, mm -hmm. sir. Man and vegetable in a magnificent duel to the death. Oh, I've come over all of a doodle. Mm -hmm. Here, have this lovely dragon gem as your reward. Oh. oh, lovely majestic creatures dragons are. Yes, majestic. Lovely. Well, okay, thank you. I will take the gem. That was actually a better reward than I thought. It is rumored that the pumpkin witch is in possession of a much sought after oh. dragon gem. If you have a witch talisman, you could summon this kindly witch. <laughs> I love the way Dan's head's on a swivel. <laughs> it amuses me greatly. Right, okay, cool. Ooh. Don't leave nothing left behind, Dan. Okay, cool. So, let's get out of here. And we shall grab our chalice. Ah, and we can top up on health here as well. Excellent. More gold. Those certainly were quite generous with health in this game. I don't remember them being that generous in the original game, but I could be wrong. Now, one thing to mention, one of the unlockables, I can't remember if I said this before. One of the unlockables in this game is the original PlayStation 1 game that you can play on the PlayStation 4. And it actually looks quite good. Which is really painful, because that means Sony actually has a PlayStation 1 emulator for the PlayStation 4. Huh, how about that? But I guess they just couldn't be fucked to actually, you know, give us PlayStation 1 backwards compatibility. Nah. Ugh. Sony, you're really falling hard. You really are. Right, now. Ooh, look. We can go upstairs now. No, nope, we can't knock these off any other way. I have a feeling that Sony is going to suffer in the ninth gen. I really do. Now, we've got two choices here. We can go talk to her and get the spears. Or... We can talk to, uh... Oh, wait, have they changed it, actually? No, or we can get the bow. Um, the spears versus the bow. Uh, I prefer the bow. I don't really like the spears. Look at you running around in your bones, Fortescue. You're so nouveau dead. <laughs> I... Ravenhoofs, last prince of the centaurs, have not galloped the earth in over 10,000 years. Damn. Do yourself a favor, Fortescue. Take my longbow. More powerful than crossbow. The option of flaming arrows? It is truly the weapon of noblemen. Yeah, Raven Hooves is pretty badass. You don't quite have my breeding, Mr. Johnny come lately. But there's hope for you yet. I think Dan will do just fine. Yeah, the lo uh, the longbow is actually pretty good um, for those on horseback or those with horsebacks. Yeah, 
uh, way more powerful. It's like it does like five times more damage than the crossbow. Uh, its ammo is considerably more expensive. Now, if we talk to her, and obviously we will do eventually. She gives us spears. Spears, I don't really like them. So, if we have a choice between anything else, we're gonna pick anything else. So, anyway, guys, that is gonna end it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I have. That also completes Pumpkin Gorge. Completely. So, when we come back, we are going to continue our adventure. <clears throat> Haven't decided what route I'm going to take yet. I think it makes more sense to go through the Sleepy Village, I think. But we shall see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.